speak to the bill. The chair recognizes Representative Camilleri. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in opposition to House Bill 5097. At a time when we are seeing school districts forced to cancel classes as a result of staffing shortages, this body is choosing to bring up legislation to further micromanage and control the staff that districts have left. At a time when school boards and those members are getting death threats for doing their job and quitting because of it, this body is attempting, is attempting to make their jobs even more difficult by policing history taught in the classroom. This bill today foolishly attempts to create division that doesn't need to exist. The language of this bill will be used as a shield to provoke attacks on any kind of teaching about race or gender or history. The history of the United States of America and the state of Michigan is woven together with different racial, ethnic, gendered, and religious threads. We have a difficult and complicated history in this country, and our students need to understand it, all of it. Why would we want to ban accurately teaching the history of what these groups have accomplished and endured? It is unpatriotic. It is unpatriotic to want to silence the stories and the experiences of people in this country that make up the American story. This bill is a thinly veiled attempt to whitewash and re rewrite our history. Representative, please do not impugn the motives of your colleagues and speak to the merits of the bill. Chair recognizes Representative Camilleri. Silencing me just like silencing the students in our classrooms. I appreciate it, Mr. Speaker. Furthermore, we're moving on. Chair recognizes Representative Camilleri. Furthermore, teacher shortages are not coming. They are already here. School board elections are not going to get ugly. They already are. Teachers, administrators, and school boards are being harassed by citizens who have fallen into disinformation traps. If this legislation were to become law, it will not only embolden these factions to continue their efforts to berate our local elected officials, but it's gonna take these fights straight into the classroom. For nearly two years during this pandemic, good people have been overwhelmed and either pushed out or left education. We cannot continue the attacks on teachers and further the further divide between fact and fiction in our classrooms. If this legislation were to pass, who in their right mind would choose to be an educator and be policed by not only local school boards, but elected officials here in Lansing on what their daily lessons will look like? That does not seem like a great workplace environment for our educators. I urge you to stand up for students, for teachers, for administrators, and school boards, and join me in voting no on this bill, because our students deserve better. Thank you.